Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're going to be doing our Asian Cup review. So, it's me, AD744. So, today, we'll start with the Japan 3 Indonesia 1. Now, I want to say this right now, guys. The other game, Iraq versus Vietnam, was a dead rubber. It really didn't mean anything because Iraq were going to top the group anyway um, with the better head-to-head -head and as well as the fact that Vietnam were already eliminated because of head-to-head. -head. So, I didn't even bother. Um, we're not going to even discuss about that game. So, shout out to Iraq, though. They did win 3-2. Um, but, yeah, we're not going to discuss about that game because, quite frankly, that game was pretty much irrelevant this game on the other hand though was significant because this could determine second place and and if indonesia did actually win this game they could have actually gained second place and for japan they didn't man i gotta give props to japan japan were really good on the day i thought they were fantastic on the day and really i think honestly japan were just superior i mean look at the mounted look at how dominant they were 71 percent possession 14 shots um two on target four big chances missed there was a lot of big chances missed and I have to give credit to Moriyasu. He actually followed my advice and followed what I said. And I told him, I said after that Iraq game that you cannot start, I think it's um, Asano. You can't start Asano on striker. You have to start Yuada. And if you guys didn't check that out, I'll put an Asian Cup playlist here. For me, that was a really good idea. Really, really good. And you could see how Indonesia on the day just couldn't match with Japan. You know, Indonesia did give a good account of themselves. I think they... They played well, and they even scored a goal, and they defended well at times, you know. I even remember one of the guys did a goal line clearance, and so they had a good game. Um, That first goal, man, terrible penalty given away. Um, I believe, let me see if I can find who gave away the penalty. I believe it might have been Ahmad. Let me just check. I think Ahmad might have given the penalty away. Let me see. Ahmad, did he get? Yes, Ahmad gave away penalty, upset Yuada, and Yuada converts the penalty to make it 1-0. And then from that point on, Japan were rampant. They were creating chance after chance. Um, and they had two big chances missed, man. And what I really like for Japan on the day is that um, they were using the wing play. They were expanding the uh, width and, you know, bring, bringing in passes into the middle, you know. And they were really, really stretching Indonesia's defense, you know. And they finally did score the second goal out of there with the tap-in. I believe Ritsudoan got the assist there. Um, and then from that point on, Indonesia and Japan kept pushing and pushing. I think Nakamura had a chance there. I think Doan had a chance there. Um, it was either saved or blocked. And then finally, they did score the third goal. Uh, very, very unfortunate own goal there from Hobner, uh, who I thought had a good game up until own goal. That's very, very mis unfortunate. And I think for Indonesia, man, they did score a goal from the set piece there. And once again, Suzaki, man. Suzaki, man. Moriyasu, man, can you please bench Suzaki? I think Suzaki can't start anymore because this guy has been terrible. He's not been great in these these three games. And I think if Japan wants to go far in this tournament, I want to win this, which they should be their ambition. You can't start Suzaki. I don't think Suzaki is good enough to start. And so I am really interested to see what Japan's going to do. Um, are they going to bench Suzaki for the knockouts? You know, because remember, guys, if Japan, because Japan had come from second place, so they'll be playing the group winner. We'll find out because it could either be South Korea or I believe Jordan, potentially even Bahrain, if South Korea lose, you know, there's off chance. And obviously, I don't think there's any chance they can play against um, Malaysia. Yeah, they can't play against Malaysia. So it's going to be one of the three teams. As for Indonesia, they're going to be one of the best third place teams. Oh, yeah, Walsh score from the corner. I got to mention that. Um, and let's see if they have enough goal difference, because let's look at the groups real quick. I just want to see the groups real quick. Do they have enough goal difference? So we know China's eliminated. They have basically mathematically gone out. Syria, we already know, qualified. Palestine, have already qualified. So one in Bahrain or Oman? See, if Oman wins, then we have ourselves interesting. So they have to hope that uh, it's going to be difficult for Indonesia. It's going to be difficult for them because their goal difference is really bad, minus three. So I think Indonesia is likely to be eliminated unless uh, Jordan could do them a solid favor and destroy Bahrain like, like, or even if they, yeah, I, I don't think Jordan can destroy Bahrain. And then, yeah, I think it's going to be difficult. So basically, they have to hope that Oman doesn't win. If Oman doesn't win, they're in big trouble. You know, even a draw will be fine. So basically, Indonesia is going is praying um, that that is going to be there. And for Indonesia, man, I thought they did fantastic in this first Asian Cup in a long time. You know, they, they did themselves well. I, I think the, Indonesia is on the rise. I think this team is on the rise. And I think this is a team to look out for in the next couple of uh, tournaments and I feel like this tournament was just so soon it just came a bit too soon for them and um like I said man I think they could do something World Cup qualifiers so I think they could do something because remember guys I believe the top two progress from each group so I think the um next ambition for them is the World Cup qualifiers because let's be real I don't think they're gonna be one of the best of these teams I don't think they will and yeah once again man shout out to um this guy I forgot his name uh I forgot who's that guy Indonesia guy 
this guy. This guy was fantastic once again, man. Marcelino. Um, this is a really bright young player, and I hope he can develop. And I really want to see him in Europe someday because this guy is really talented and really, really amazing to watch. So for Indonesia, man, they gave a good enough count of themselves. And I, I think they did well. They did well in this group. And even if they don't advance, they still had a great tournament. You know, so um, shout out to Indonesia, man. They put up a great game. As for Japan, very, very good performance. Yura was fantastic on the day. <sighs> Moriyasu, man, can you bench Suzaki, man, please? Anyways, that's my thoughts on this game, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.